हेलो फ्रेंड वेलकम टू मरी इंजीनियरिंग हब दिस इज नेटर चीफ इंजीनियर रवि गुप्ता टुडे वी गोट टॉक अबाउट हाउ द ई एक्स आई वेरिफिकेशन इज डन इट मीन्स दैट आफ्टर द ई एक्स आई इज कमिंग इन टू द पिक्चर हाउ यू आर गोन इम्प्लीमेंट इट ऑन अ शिप हाउ यू आर गोन गेट द सर्टिफिकेशन प्रोसीजर कम्प्लीटेड दिस वी विल सी टूडे इट बेसिकली कंसिस्ट ऑफ two procedure first is that when the required exi is achieved by the attain edi and second is that when the attain edi is not less than the required exi this two procedure we will see after that what verification will be done by the class and what is the cost when the verification is done by the class so let's begin the today video of exi so as you know as i have told you earlier also that this is the flow chart explaining the exi it is telling that if your attain edi which is calculated for the ship build up to 2013 if your attain edi is equal to the attain exi means if your attain edi is maintaining the requirement of the required exi then your attain edi will work as a attain exi and the ship comply with the exi requirement but if your attain exi is not complying with the exi requirement which is required in that case you have to follow the different procedure as we have seen like engine power limitation and all that we have seen in our earlier video if you want to know about the engine power limitation ehd and all that i have covered in my earlier video please see the description box so the first case is that when your ship is complying with the required exi requirement means after the exi come into picture the car co2 emission which is done by your ship that is the attain edi of your ship is complying with the required exi in that case you no need to do that much thing only you have to carry out the you have to put a application for a survey of a ie certificate you have to apply for a survey of a ie certificate which will be done on a first periodical survey of a ib certificate on an after 1st january 2023 after that you will be given a receipt and then onward survey will carried out and then you will be given a certificate which will be kept with the management company and a copy will be given to the class so it means that if your attain edi is complying with the required exi value then you just need to carry out an occasional survey of a ie certification which is a one time survey in which after the carrying out survey on board you will given the ie certificate now the main thing comes for the second type of ships which is the most cases when the attain edi is not complying with the required exi value in that case what you have to do first you have to take certain measures like engine power limitation or esd device or conversion to a different type of fuel first you have to take all this measure so first there will be a two procedure there will be a preliminary verification and then there will be a final verification in the preliminary verification what is happening the management or the ship owner company have to provide the document regarding the exi technical file on board management manual and the related document for the method they are using this all three document need to be presented to the class class will review the document and check the attain exi after taking all the measures and then they will verify the exi technical file and the onboard management manual after that you have to apply for application of ie certification then the class will go on board with the es technical file examine and onboard management manual and they will carry out the survey once the carry out survey they will find that the after carrying out the required correction the e e exi technical file which you have mentioned and the onboard manual which they have examined if it is 
complying then they will approve it and they will issue a IE certificate so in other case what they are doing first they are carrying out the preliminary verification in which you have to submit the ESA technical file on the manual manual and the other document after that the class will first examine it and then they will go on board then they will carry out the onboard survey then they will issue with the certificate and then they will approve the EEXI technical file and onboard manual manual so in the examination if they ask you what are the document involved in the EEXI so you need to mention at least three document EEXI technical file onboard manual manual and IE certification okay now so the class approval EEXI technical file and EPIL onboard manual is required. Some time is needed for review to confirm the evidence of speed power curve if shift speed is calculated by speed power curve. So if your shift V reference, your V reference speed is calculated by the speed power curve, in that case you need that speed power curve. Okay, so you need EXI technical file, onboard management manual, and evidence of speed power curve so these three documents you need to present along with the IE certification okay and when this need to be carried out this need to be carried out this approval and the onboard inspection by class you can finish you need to finish before 1st January 2023 and after 1st January 2023 you need to carry out the onboard verification when the renewal of the survey of average certification you are doing after 1st January 2023. It means that before 1st January 2023 you need to carry out this preliminary verification and after 1st January 2023 you need to carry out the onboard verification. Okay. So now what is the cost for confirmation to the EXI regulation? So it consists of fees for making the EXI technical file and the EPL onboard management manual. So, EXI technical file and the engine power limitation onboard management manual, the cost will be charged by the class. After that, the fees for data of speed power curve, tank test results, specific fuel consumption will be charged. Fees for the EPL setting will be charged. Fees for the EXI verification by class will be charged. So, these are the charges which the class will take in order to verify the EXI. So friend, I hope in today's video you know how the verification of the EXI is done by the class and what are the document involved and what are the two cases when and how you are going, going to do the verification. If you got any doubt, please do comment below. I will reply back. And friend, those who are watching till now, it's a very honor for me that you have watched till this. I'm very thankful to you. Please encourage us by subscribing and please do share our video if you think we have given any valuable output. And if you still want to be a part of our channel, please join our membership. There is a join icon, click on the join button and paying a nominal fees, you can be a member of us and you have you can add contact me and you can get your doubt clear. Thank you.